He really needs the Dark Swarm at this point. No Defiler being dropped the second time. Possibly the Overlord got taken out that had that. Now, finally, also Dark Archon in the position. Of course, Dark Archon is going to be just ma Maelstrom those Overlords as they come in and then just storm them. And that's going to be all she wrote. That's a wonderful strategy that I've seen used before. Some cracklings alongside Defiler is going to actually move towards the natural expansion here. Dark Swarm going off. He's actually going to try to break the front. So what Hojo is using as a strategy here is just go all around, try to put pressure on all sides kill everything anywhere that he can find again still being very persistent at the lower right and the nexus is in jeopardy workers in position and also the natural expansion being broken into also attacking at two fronts forcing Valo to pay attention and get his end getting his nexus lost at the lower right so that's something Hoji really has needed to do but I think his attack at the natural expansion is gonna peter out some mining being lost quite a bit now for Violet so he's gonna be a little bit desperate for bases he's lost his main I don't think he's really has any mining at his main anymore I think his natural is pretty much dead I think his lower left is also not mining uh, probably not much anyway but he still has his army he still has a rather large army that he can use what I find really uh, troubling though is that Violet has so far been playing a more defensive turret game he's just been waiting he's done some early harassments with Dark Templar some Corsairs but really doesn't has done much else now finally he's gonna take out all those workers that were being a trouble for him still has the huge army I think Violet honestly should have done some harassment play so far hasn't taken out any of the bases tried to take out the 12 o'clock but hasn't really done much I think he tries to take down the 12 o'clock in the upper left he's gonna be able to do really take control back because he has the army for it definitely there are going to be Nidus Canals in position, but overall I still think he has the capability to, again, some crackling is going to move towards the lower right, uh, the 5 o'clock or 6 o'clock position, but they're not going to be able to really do much to it. 6 o'clock position is going to be guarded, the huge army of Violets, and they're moving in at the south. Uh, let's see there. Uh, Ultrisks at 4 armor, I believe, and 2 weapons, and on the other opposite side, Archons, I believe, had 1 in each. Not quite sure. The Ultras, I believe, at four armor. Again, now Violet trying to reestablish. One Ultra gonna run in into a, one Ultra actually managed to get through with no health and one kill. On the opposite, now a huge Ultra army being readied and again a drop. So Hojo is gonna just be persistent with these drops, trying to completely harass the economy of Violet. Also now taking the middle, which of course has two gases and two mineral lines those I believe those gas and mineral lines don't last as much as regular bases but they're a quick boost you know especially if you mine it out the rate this is going you never know this game might actually come down to an elimination game just a lot of ultras now gonna try to engage it's gonna be fun that all oh, three getting caught in a maelstrom so they're screwed reaver in position goodbye so that's gonna be horrible there big loss losing the soldiers but an opposite side Hojo is gonna start dropping at this location even before the Nexus comes up I expect some dark swarms not seeing Dark Swarm, just a lot of cracklings. A Dark Swarm, there we go. Dark Swarm really going to help this out. A lot of cracklings, definitely not for this. Nexus is probably going to be taken up. But the Reavers in position. There are a lot of Reavers in position coming up for the shuttles. And Zerglings trying to get at them and surround. But no, do not manage to. Oh, Violet with perfect timing on the Reavers. Expected that was coming up. So he's been doing a wonderful job of protecting there. No, uh, let's see, mining wise, Hojo has mining. No mining at his main. I think he's mining. Very little, if anything, at his natural. Still mining at the upper right. Still mining at the 12 and the upper left. Also mining at the middle now. Three robotics facilities being put down by Alex. So he's basically putting down a robotics facility in any location that he might need to put a reaver. Kind of like his own personal Nidus Canals on the robotics facilities. And the middle being protected everywhere by Ojo. Has a lot of lurkers. Has a Nidus Canal as well as Overlords flying over. And actually, wow, the lower right, I believe actually the Nexus was forced to cancel. Didn't quite see that. Uh, was actually, I think he might have actually forced the Nexus to cancel, so I think I might have missed that. It's a wonderful job by Hojo overall in that re in that regard. Still more Reavers being produced. Still a huge army on the ground for Violet, and he hasn't really used it too much. I to, but to defend really. <laughs> They're a fan sitting there saying, oh, come on. Guys, when, when do I get to see Flash? Or Lila? <laughs> or Yarnak? Again, a little bit of engagement there, very close. Natural expansion of Violets again being threatened, just a bunch of cracklings, but some of the game caught by Archon's a large icon line alongside the well Zealots. Some of the cracklings are going to be able to manage to get through, but there is a Reaver to defend there as well, and cannons and storms. Goodbye. That's how you melt Zerglings. Lesson 101 by Violet of KT Magicians. <laughs> Simple, simple, whoa, wow, that is a huge Ultrask army now, 
there in that position in that dare position at very close to the middle but I don't see too many auxiliary troops so he has those huge uh, ultralisks but of course they're weak to maelstroms if you really take advantage of him still just one dark archon I think there might be another one somewhere but still like huge ultralisk armies has some lurkers in position though also has some crackies he's actually gonna go for this some archons gonna be there maelstroms going off two maelstroms going off hitting most of the ultras dark swarms going off plague going off on the opposite side hitting the reavers and a bunch of the dragoons so this is gonna be anyone's game some ultras still in position there a bunch of them get taken out all the reavers in dire danger being played. There's a multiple still trying to attack. All the ones moving in, probably with some of the Zoe troops trying to support this. I'm not saying to crack because all the ones taken down. The last Ultras runs away. So both players retreating, but I think. I think Violet actually came out with that, re-establishing the ro ro rower right, rower right, yes, because I'm Asian now. Okay, that's racist, I apologize. <laughs> oh god. The rower right being re-established, and that was just a beautiful play by Violet, seeing what was coming out of it. Two maelstroms, just pop, pop, two instant maelstroms hitting most of the ultralisk and completely stopping that attack. He got plagued, lost a lot of reavers and lost some Archons and more forces just, and the Dark Swarms of course really helped out but overall just beautiful timing by Violet that Dark Archon really coming through to help now I just gotta wait for him to get all of his energy back beautiful overall decided to mail some all those roles that's why I feel the Ultralisks are so they're a large target a lot of them grouped up you know just bad you're not gonna mail some Cracklings you know you can melt Cracklings with Archons Still just Reavers being put defensive positions everywhere. Now Violet is very desperate to keep this lower right base. I think that's his only actively fully mining base. Again, some random Kraken is going to run out, try to do some damage, really not too much. Again, all the Ultralisk army being resupplied. That middle, that whole deal, that middle really paying off for him here. He just can resupply his entire army in seconds while... Violet still has to just keep his one core army alive. Again, Crackling's trying to run in here, but managed to kill one single Archon, but far too many Archons. Just Archons completely melt Cracklings, even if they get surrounded, especially inside sort water number. We're actually going to see another battle here. Dark Archon try to get surrounded, but no. Lurkers, play going off on some forces. Storms going off anywhere and just hitting Lurkers. <laughs> Plague is some of his own forces by accident. Dark Swarm coming down. Ultra is moving to position. That's too bad there. Not catching too much. Again, a Dark Swarm going off, and actually Hojo might be going for the Nashua expansion. We're going to see actually whether he dies to push back or not. A lot of Reavers and cannons and forces there, and a pretty good choke there in position going to get taken out so I think actually might have taken out observer there uh, but overall reavers just shooting themselves try to take advantage by the opposite side Hojo gonna take full advantage of the fact that he's kept Violet inside of Violet's own base gonna attack with ultralisks and gonna go for this but Storms going off. Reavers in position. So many cannons. A uh, reaver gonna reaver's gonna follow these ultras. Gonna take another one out. Wow! I thought that position was doomed. Violet just using just those reavers and cannons expertly in all positions. Again, gonna move with the ultras towards the natural. Maelstrom hitting three ultras though, and they're gonna zergling. Storm going off. Play going off against the Archons, which is useless. One Dark Swarm, but nothing under it, and just being worthless. Hojo trying to break this, but I think at this point doesn't have a large enough army for it. Those, oh, those Scarabs. The Scarabs have been wonderful for Violet today. It's all the Scarabs hitting just exactly where he wants the Scarabs to hit. Give me a second, I'm going to get a sip here. Oh, a lot of stuff going on, so sometimes you need a little bit of sip or something. It's not beer, in case that you wonder. I don't drink when I commentate. Now that I think about it, I haven't had a beer in a while. Oh well, I can live without beer. So okay, Violet, 6 o'clock position, now really mining out. Again, just trying to desperately hold on to the lower right, while Hojil, or Hojil has the middle, mining at the 12 o'clock, and also at the upper left. So he has quite a lot of mining going on compared to Violet, uh, trying to drop something or just go for initial overlord to go for a scout we're gonna see what actually I think he split his overlord he's gonna try to drop for two positions again they're gonna try to take the space out there were some shuttles away from the position now gonna move instantly back Dark Temple are moving in Dark Swarm's coming up there are some Reavers in position though Storm's going up everywhere Ultralisk and Crackling's coming out now it's gonna be very crucial we're gonna see where the Hojo actually managed to take out this hatchery some more shuttles moving towards the position but I think the hatchery is actually gonna get surrounded actually gonna take it out I mean the Spire the Nexus all the okay all these shields have gone down now the Reavers are finally position gonna start attacking all these but I think Hojo actually might decide to sacrifice all the try to take this next out. Nexus holds. Nexus 
uh, holds, I believe, but more Dark Swarms are coming in. I think even more Overlords might be coming to the position. I'm not, uh, they're not showing anymore. The opposite side, really, no counter has been going on. Still Overlords flying around everywhere. Hojo, of course, can afford to do all this, afford to do all these wonderful harassment tactics, but no Violet Holds puts down his entire cannon placement yet again. Just, oh, High Templar is in position. Reavers in position. This is wow. This is like watching a huge, huge storm of forces running towards a gigantic defensive barrier and being pushed back. Reminds me a little bit of Stalingrad, if I might use that analogy, where the commissars forced their forces to run forward straight into gunfire, despite the fact that many of them would get killed. 